来也方便啊。I didn't know it looked like that. <laughs> we just got done with our tour, so we'll be splitting up and we are going to buy like the halal and non-halal food to compare. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go! So we just came out from Prince Edward MTR and now we are walking to the first stop, which is at Tim Ho Wan. So we just left the Islamic canteen centre to get some halal food and we are now off to, to get some of the duck rice. Alright, so we are done with all our three dishes and we are now heading back to our hotel to try all the dishes and get on with the challenge. Dishes for the two tasters right outside Jurong Peng Xia Xuan. And the first dish we are going to try plating is the beef dishes. I have the here right now noodles. the halal one and mine will be the non halal one. So this one is from Ma's restaurant. It's a halal restaurant in, uh, near Prince Edward. And then this one is from this place called Quan Ki that we kind of just found um, down the street. So we're not sure. Okay. We're, not, we're not even sure yeah. if it's good. Alright, okay. one of our first. Let's look, it looks yeah. similar. Yeah, I think mine is more like it. A, mine is more How about like you guys? A, yeah, mine is more of like a dry one. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> I have so many cameras. And then she's, oh! oh! Okay, now I'm just gonna do it over here. Okay, so that's like. Alright, and we're gonna fit it in the yeah. car right here. Okay, now it's round two, which is. The. Dark one! Slash goose rice. Wow. Okay, here's the problem. Okay, like there wasn't any halal goose rice places, and the roasted meat store at the non halal side chose um, didn't have any goose. Eh, sorry, didn't have any duck, so we had to settle with the goose. But um, I have to say, they both kind of taste the same. Team cage. But we will see whether they will know the difference. White okay, plate for non halal. And red plate for the halal dish. Yeah, so for the smells really good. The first round of this um, tasting session. So, um, Jerome and Jia Xuan, are y'all excited? Yes! Yeah. Okay, so this, is the, this will be the first round, okay? The first round is the beef noodles. We have put like one piece of beef each mm -hmm. for each of you, right? Is that what you did? Yeah, I need one. Mm. I need to find my beef piece. You open, okay. Ah, okay. I like the noodles though. The noodles has this like, this like uh, very rice starchy thing going on with it. And the uh, beef is quite tasty as well, but. Hmm. Oh, wow, can we put a plate? I think the noodles are not flavorful enough. Like, it just tastes like some starchy thing, or Then, uh,. The beef is quite nice though. Mm. I like what Jerome said, I think the beef is quite nice. Now here is the second one. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh... Wow! Okay, comparing to the first one, I think the beef of the first one is actually nicer. But this one, because this has like this... It's kind of fatty. of this one. Mm -hmm. The texture is a lot better compared to the previous one. Uh, for the beef, I prefer the previous one because this one is really... The one that I had was maybe like 50% fats. Mm. Okay, so now can you guys guess which one is the halal one and which one is the non-halal one? I guess the previous one is halal. I'll say the first one. In terms of like 
like the the dish that I prefer. I think the first one actually worked better for me. As a beef noodle dish, I think the first one as a whole, as a whole is still better, more right? like a yeah. Because I never had beef noodle mm. with this kind of noodles. Yeah, because this this noodles is like kind of mm. instant noodle-ish. Are y'all ready for the big reveal? Yes. Yes, yes. So oh, okay, wait, the one okay, the one with the red plate is the halal one. Okay. Three, two, two one. Yay! Oh great! It's the good one, it's the better one eh. Jerome's one is the third one. I honestly think this was so like nice. Oh, so this is not Maggie Me. Really? So the second wait, 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 wait. round is Dark rice slash goose rice, which are basically the same ish. Ah, yes. <laughs> this is so what? wretched. Wow, this is damn nice. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow, I want more there. Oh, the meat is nice. Yeah, very short one. Mmm, nice. Wow, this is damn good though. Okay, for this, I'm not sure whether it's dark goose, but the meat is still very nice as like the first one, but this has this extra like crispy skin. And I really like like crispy skin, so. What about crispy rendang? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, cannot be crispy. So, it's a go. Oh, this is making me so hungry. Mm -hmm. For well, this, the meat is also not too dry. It's actually pretty tender. Mm. But I preferred the rice of the previous one. Um, the other one felt a bit more flavorful. But hmm, I think both meats are really nice. Okay, verdict. Which one is the halal and which one is the non halal? Oh, uh, wow, this is very hard. The but meat does taste slightly different though. I think the first one is. I would say the second one is. The first one is the not halal. Yeah, I would say the second one is halal. Yeah, the second one is the halal. We will, we will not delay the suspense <laughs> any longer. As usual, the first plate is in front of Jerome and the second plate is in front of Jiaxuan. Okay. You may take off your blindfolds. Ta da! Okay, so race. Yeah, race. Race. So you're alright again. You're alright again. Wow. Okay, alright, so now we have come to the end to our halal versus non halal food and I'm gonna ask them. What are the experience like finding halal food here? Any like, you share? Mm, I think I faced a challenge when I went to tapau the dim sum with Aki. Oh, yeah. It was actually in like a mosque, a prayer kind of area because and I couldn't go in to tapau with him, so he had to go in alone because I was wearing shorts and singlet. So everyone inside had to wear long sleeve and long pants, so I waited outside. Right. Okay. Mm. I think for me. Like, cause like when we were researching for like, halal certified food to eat, um, there were actually a lot of like options, cause there were a lot of Indian restaurants, there are actually Turkish kebab shops mm -hmm. as well, and like the usual international food that you have around. Um, but it got a bit challenging when we tried to find like Chinese cuisine halal certified food. So when we tried that out, then we only managed to find like three shops, which were the ones. That that we had over there. Yeah. yeah, I think when it comes to like Chinese food, there's really only like a few that we found. But the good thing is that the halal certified food for the Chinese food, uh, cuisine, right, they're all located quite centrally. Mm. Like they're all like at central, right? Yeah, central, yeah, yeah. Like central MTR, like the station. So it's pretty, it's not inaccessible. It's not like you have to travel all the way to like the boonies just to like find uh, halal certified food. So yeah. And the quality of the food is actually very decent. I would say like, I like the beef noodles a lot actually. The beef was yeah. actually quite good. I yeah. admit, it was really quite good. I find it was so tender. Rice. Yeah. Yeah. That rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That rice was the same show. Like rice. The, the skin to fat to uh, meat ratio, right? Was just like woo, perfect, lah. Uh. Yeah. Good, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. as a Muslim traveler, other things impossible to find food. Yeah. Yes, it's hard, but eventually you can actually find some a lot of food here. Mm. Though your choices will be quite limited since. Like only the halal food, only like Turkish or yeah, Turkish and like uh, food. Indian food as well. Mm. Yeah. So if you really want to get the Chinese food, it's very hard. I mean, it's not very hard, but you know, you really gotta like find out where the locations are. You know, you can't you can't just walk out and find halal food easily here. Yeah. It's hard, but it's not impossible. impossible. Yes, and that's our conclusion. Yes. Hard, but not impossible. impossible. Yes. <laughs>
Island. Yeah. Right now we are flying the drone. I mean, Akif is flying the drone, and the, the boat is rocking like crazy. And if you see his face, yeah, he's panicking. <laughs> Getting a bit seasick, but, uh, but it's uh, all for the gram. It's all for the video guy. So this is actually the real travel intern life. <laughs> so Aki, how is this internship? You get to explore a lot of job scopes, I see. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. One, two, two, and three, and four, eight. Two, five, right, three, four, 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 Oh, 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 ready for boxing, eh? She's <laughs> 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 <Best time. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I hate all of this! What do you have to say to everybody? I hate all of it! Literally! Lang Tao Rawls! Get it, get it! <laughs> so here we have some char shrimp. Try to avoid about the fuzz by doing some boxing steps. Like. We'll find out. You scared. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to ask, ask it. Yeah, yeah, ask it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. uh, do you like big holes? Oh no! <laughs> we are at an abandoned village of called um, Ha Mutin. But as you can see, now it's Natin. <laughs> oh my god. We're doing our hike to Lai Chi Wo now. <laughs> So just 5 days ago, it was 18 degrees and today, it's suddenly like 30 degrees hot lah, bodo! Look at that ass! What's up guys? Wow, new fashion trend, catch up Wow, own days, run for your money Cows and more cows Because we are in Kowloon Kowloon, Hong Kong Akif, are you ready? No. Shuck you la! Ah. We are now at Shuck you. Takes about an hour to get there. Let's go. Akif, come sit on Papa's lap. Shuck you! Take them to China. Yay, let's go China. No! Let's go China. Another day. Another boat ride. Woohoo!
So before you enter a restaurant, what do you say? Just say why for four people. And then before you start your meal, what do you say? Six fun. And when you're done with your meal? Koi mm, Jose. And then when you see a pretty girl? Like long. And a pretty boy? Like but what if someone comes up to you and says, Kao Ma Kwai? If you like this video, remember to subscribe for more travel inspiration. To find out more about our travel intern program, check out the link here.